All right, so over the years, a ton of people have asked me about live coding process, like mine, but also just generally, how do you do this stuff? And it's a lot to talk about. It's a bunch of specific things that you just kind of stumble upon over the years, but it can cover some of those things in a more digestible format, hopefully. Framed by the question, what can title do easily that other tools can't? Like, why would you actually want to use this? What can you do with this that you can't do with any of these? One function that comes to mind for me is echo with. I use it all the time. So say you have a starting synth sound with a handful of parameters on it. Maybe you might have it a little bit louder. Now what echo with does is it takes every note or any note and plays it again offset by a certain time and then applies a handful of modifications to these parameters very simple example of that is having this note echo three times um, with three sixteenths of a cycle in between each echo and the changing parameter is gain which each subsequent note has its gain multiplied by 0.8 you can also do this with the gain starting low and getting louder by a factor of 1.4 subsequent note. Another example here is distortion added each subsequent note and also the release time extended. It's longer. You can hear the first note is pretty short and they get longer. That's just, <laughs> that's just what happens. You can also pattern these parameters in here. So any note coming out of echo with, if it occurs in the first quarter of the cycle, it'll have model zero and shape zero. Anywhere in the last three quarters, it'll have model one and shape 0.2. And once you see you have, you have a bunch of stuff here, the original pattern, any modifications to it become way more interesting. It's a lot of nuance. Hope that helps. <laughs>